Alright, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to start this video by giving all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Makak And And um, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone and salutes to the Akim out there that pushed this word in truth and sincerity, man. You know, I said, I'm uh, just here this quick impromptu. And basically, I was at, and I had to go purchase some stuff real quickly man and I'm um, pretty much I ran in I ran into um um I ran into some some old school associates you know from secondary school and college years ago man and pretty much it, it had been man we're like maybe three four years ago I don't know we used to um, a couple of us brothers we used to teach in um was it uh um, is it, I think it was Dalston, yeah, Dalston sites, man, yeah, outside Dalston Station, and, um, I used to, um, that seemed to have been a place where a lot of people from my school and college lived, or was around, you know, and pretty much, um, um, yeah, back in the day, man, they used to see us at the camp, and they would recognise me, you know, and they would say, they will say my name, like, rah! Like, Nate, what, what, what's this all about, kind of thing, you know, girls have seen me, guys have seen me, you know, on multiple occasions, man, you know, teaching down with the Akim, and pretty much, man, um, you know, obviously at camp, you know, I don't really get into talking to them too tough, but, you know, after the camp, they'll give me a call or a text, or when they next see me, and they'll be like, so what's that all about, you know, and, um, Basically, give them the basics that you know out here teaching the truth or who the real Israelites are and what's gonna go down, man. Pretty, you know, pretty much, you know, the the overview of why we're out here, man. You know, to reprove, rebuke, um, and exhort our people, man. You know, or exhort the ones that come into the truth, the elect anyway, but you know, pretty much to, to, to speak out the judgments of what's coming, man. Upon this planet Earth, and to those who dwell therein, <laughs> you know, and some people, you know, took the piss like, "Oh, rah, Nate, like, what, yeah, yeah, preacher now," kind of thing. And um, even one guy, he came up to me and he was on the side. He was like, "What, what, Nate? What are you getting paid to do this or something? Like, is your church? Because they didn't understand what this is all about, man." And um, pretty much, man, the spirit had it where them same guys and girls are seeing it come to pass, man. You know, Jesus ain't working anymore, man. You know, one guy came up to me and said, basically, man, I was on out like today now. I saw him, and he's one of the guys that saw me back then. And he was like, man, listen, man, like, like church ain't doing it. You know, I don't really believe, like, it's the same thing every week. Jump up, dance. Like, what, what were you teaching? What were you and your guys teaching about? All right. Okay. You, you were saying this God, like, what? Like, 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 what is it, Hebrew God or, you know, you know how Jake is, man, you know, and it's like, man, fuck them guys, man, you know, you know, and there's people out there that would have expected me to say, oh, yeah, I was so happy and overjoyed to tell them, oh, yeah, come, look, listen to me, but it's like, fuck them guys, man, you know, because the scripture says, um, we have piped onto you and you have not danced, man, you know, here I am, walking on the street, doing what i got to do. Now you want to inquire, what was that God you were teaching about? What was that thing? It sounded like the truth, all right? But when it when we were actually... And we know it's not that we're not out there anymore. We're still out there. But the point being is that at that time, when I was out there with the Akim teaching, you know, on those specific accounts, they walked past. They asked me stupid questions like, are you getting financially reimbursed for this? Are you getting paid to stand up here? Oh, Nate, what's this all about? Sniggering and laughing, you know? That's when we were doing the work, you know? But now I'm, I'm, I'm going to the shop to buy something. You want to start asking me questions, man, you know? You know, and a small part of me was like, oh, man, maybe I should stand here for 15 minutes, talk to the guy, tell him what it's all about, man, you know? But then that cold spirit came over me, man. And that's a, that's the spirit of the Lord, man. And if you can't bear it, then... That's your own business, man, you know. But it's the Spirit of the Lord that 
I said to him, listen, man, I, I got, uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you, my man. Nice to see you, T. Okay. Now, but I've got to get this thing out. i got to go home, man. I ain't trying to tell people, man. I ain't trying to tell you, uh, you know, stand in a corner in the street and convince you, man. You know? Okay? Because that time you were scoffing, most most likely you would have been, um, would have been mocked, man. You know? Now, let's just say one of those guys, you know, one of those guys, they end up being a part of the elect, then so be it, man. You know, it's all the predestination of the Lord anyway. So if they're part of the elect, they'll come in, man. You know, but at the end of the day, man, personally, I can't see that happening. You know, the kind of candidates that I'm talking about, the people that I'm talking about, you know, I can't see that them being a part of the elect. But if they are, then, you know, fuck me, I'm wrong. They'll be a part of the elect and they'll come in some way, shape or form. But I'm not finna stand on the street. <laughs> I'm not finna stand on the street, man. You know, 15 minutes, okay? Talking to you personally, man. Trying to wake you up personally. No, because when we were out there, you were the same niggas that walked past, man. You know? You know? Even one of my, my so-called friends' dads, dad knows what I do, man. You know? And he was like, yeah, yeah, you should tell him, you know, like, you know, you know about the Bible, man. You know about the Bible, son. You know? You should tell my son. And I was like, just say, yeah, 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 whatever, man. You know? You know? Like, one day I was on the way to the camp, and they don't live too far from me. And he gave me a lift to the bus stop. His dad gave me a lift to the bus stop, man. This is another guy. And he was talking to me like, yeah, it's a good thing that what you're doing. You should tell my son. And it's like, yeah, 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 whatever, man. But I ain't going to... Go and tell your son personally, man. Because your son knows what I do. He didn't say, all right, cool, let me come down to the camp. He knows me personally, man. He could have come down and said, listen, I know this guy. Okay, let me hear what you guys have to say. But nah, man. Every week it's a different motive, as they would say. A different fucking party, a different house party, a different drink up. Here, there and everywhere. You know, but not one weekend or one Saturday you got time to come down to the camp. I ain't finna teach you personally, man. You know? And it's not that I'm on a high horse or anything, man, you know, it's all through the spirit, the spirit may have it where I speak to somebody on the street and I break it down with them, we, we, we start chopping it up and they believe, man, that could happen, but for the most part, that's what we're not about, man, I'm talking about candidates that have, have seen me, man, along with the other Akim, man, and they walk straight past me, man, you can ask the other Akim back in the day, there used to be people you know, hey, even a couple months ago, there was a girl that I know came up to the camp, gave me a hug, and was saying, yeah, it's good to see you, man, you know, you know, you can ask the Akim that, because they were there, they're my witnesses, man, but we ain't finna be waking up everybody, man, we're out here for the elect, okay, we're out here for the elect, that's it, man, you know, and more times the elect will be intrigued, they'll pay attention, man, we ain't finna talk to guys with low attention spans, man, you know, after two minutes, they already talk some bullshit and walk down the street, man. Scripture says, give not your pearls unto the, unto the swine lest they trample on it, man. So we, I ain't trying to share this with the whole world, man. And if you're, in an, if you're still in that spirit of we got to wake up Israel, you're not a man of the Lord. The Lord is not concerned about waking up Israel. The Lord's concerned about seeding the elect, man, okay? Which is, we're in the process of that, I believe, man, you know? So if you're out here, oh, we got to wake up Israel, Kwam Yasharala, yeah, the whole of Israel. I mean, you can say Kwame Asharala, yeah, that's true, but well, it's about the elect, man. We're not about the whole of Israel, man, you know? So that's that. That's just my encounter I wanted to share, man. And it's coming to pass, man. People start asking questions. What's that you're teaching? What's that God you're talking about, you know? Because people can see, man. People can see that the church ain't working, and people can see that something's going down in society, man. You know, it's a beautiful time to be alive, man. Anyways, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.